Hi everyone, I'm Adam from Improvised Music Company in Dublin. Welcome to Blind Date Jazz. This is the fourth episode in our series so far. If you missed out on any of the previous episodes, be sure to check them out after this one. You'll find links in the description below. If this is your first time joining us, Blind Date Jazz is a series in which we explore the art of improvisation with a special twist. Our two artists tonight have no idea who they're playing with or even what instrument they might be paired with. The studio is split in two by a curtain, which we've rigged to drop at a certain point in the performance. Up until then, our musicians will well and truly be flying blind, enthusiastically venturing into the musical unknown. On this episode, we'll hear Hugh Buckley on guitar and Derek White on bass, two extremely accomplished musicians and improvisers with a wealth of experience under their respective belts. The pair create a fantastically dynamic soundscape together over the course of the performance. I really love how they take the music down a path that winds its way from an experimental call and response, evolving into a really solid groove, and then finding its way back again. If you like what you hear tonight and want to stay up to date with all of the exciting content we'll be sharing in the future, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you can hear about all of our future videos as soon as they go up. Don't forget to let us know what you think of the performance in the comments below. You can also follow IMC on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Check the video description below to find out more about the artists featured this evening and for all the links to our socials. I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, improvisation to me means, um, I think it means everything in music to me because of just the idea of expanding the music, expanding the harmony, expanding the rhythm, expanding all the elements um, is a huge part of it for me. The idea of um, just using your instruments, using your techniques, using your mind to take music to a different place that is is yours or a part of you know whatever ensemble you're in and bring it to a new place that nobody else can bring that's that's what it is to me i think that's the huge elements that i find fascinating and that's why i'm drawn to it so much your spontaneous uh, composition to me i suppose is having a a blank canvas i suppose and um and um i suppose as an approach to it actually is is not to have any preconceived ideas as to what it's going to be, because I think I've done stuff before where I, you know, kind of had ideas what I might do and stuff, and it didn't work out the way, you know, <laughs> or it did work out the way. That, but it's uh, so really, um, yeah. You just really, I suppose, you prepare over the years for this. You know, you have whatever skills you might acquire and language you you acquire, and then and then just you know, blank canvas and just see what happens in that moment. That's it, very right familiar. Those elements, space and um, truly listening is really what improvisation is all about to me. This is a different level again. The idea, like usually there would have to be a, a visual element to improvisation. Uh, we all look at each other, even when, you know, even when we're just improvising, we, we, do, we do a lot of stuff with our eyes. We do think, you know, we do improvise a lot and we do, uh, we do kind of, take go in different directions because of what how we look at each other or how we do this but when it comes to listening it's all about listening and this is going to be so fascinating because you it's the only, it's all we have and i like that idea of just not having the other elements and just having the ears um so i'm fascinated how this will go or if if indeed it'll change anything which i think is very interesting part of this hey, today is a very new experience really because um i've always in the past, if I've done it like this, I've always had a visual of the person, and there, there can be nods and certain, you know, gestures that kind of mean things or can they suggest things. But yeah, uh, so so today I don't really know how that's going to turn out, which is I suppose the idea of the whole thing in a sense. But the but the listening thing is essential, like it's all about listening, I think really, and then and then reacting or not reacting sometimes, you know. So um, yeah, so it just. Just even today, in preparation for it, I didn't prepare. <laughs> I tried not to listen to music even today. Just you know, so just just come in and see what happens and see what uh, 
I mean, I, I played the guitar a little bit, you know, just to warm up a bit, and that was it, you know, so that was it. So that's the preparation. So, so it, it'll be interesting, as you say, but uh, not having a visual, you know, but just responding, you know, totally by ear. Hi, my name is Hugh Buckley, and I'm on a Sonic Blind date with... My name is Derek White, and I'm on a Sonic Blind date with...
Are well, you? How are you doing? No, you're, doing that right. you're not bastard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you suss who it was? I had an inkling, but I didn't. I, th it, it, I was always like thinking that it was going to be someone almost like going going down, like just somebody maybe who would normally not play traditional kind of chords and yeah. stuff, trying to intentionally do that to kind of yeah. put out the feeders. But I thought, I was, I was thinking it sounds a bit like you, Buckley, but I didn't, I didn't Did know. Did you actually? Yeah, a little that. bit, yeah, but I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't get to you yet because I was, I was, I was trying to just not think of who it was, actually, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. try and react. But, but um, at first I didn't think it was a bass. I thought it maybe it was a keyboard or something, you know, because okay. what you were doing there, you know, it was great. Like, uh, um, and then, and then, and then I heard these chords that sound like a bass, and and then I was thinking, is this a real bass? I mean, it sounds like a real bass, but is that? And then, then, then yeah, yeah, it's nice, nice. Uh, um, so how was it for you? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Huh? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting somebody to. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting somebody to really think about exactly what I was playing. Do you know what I mean? And right. it was great. It was great that you were you were so quick to kind of highlight what I played and then well, to be able to bring it back, I thought was really cool. The yeah. fact that you did that again was a really nice idea. Yeah. Because I yeah. didn't know I didn't know if I was going to do that. And then you did it. And I was like, that's great. That's decision. Well likewise, you know, you know I can I, I, I kinda hear you listening in yeah. a way, you know. But uh, yeah. It's uh it's, it's, it's a similar thing because we got we've obviously got two stringed instruments and yeah. registers, you know, uh, um, and was that challenging, or was that interesting? Is that like a, a pairing that you might? Have to play? I think like you were you were able to. I suppose you were able to emulate a little bit more. You know what I mean? Is it like you're yeah. able to you're able to gent like as in if, in fact if you, if you play something I can play it back, you yeah. know, and it'll have a yeah. similar sound. So that's a different. Yeah. I was yeah. expecting to have a. To be honest with you, I was expecting a stringed instrument to be on yeah. the other side. Of this. I wasn't either actually. Yeah. Funny enough. So and, uh, not that I said I wasn't expecting anything, but I <laughs> I kind of thought it might be something a bit different. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. That's cool. Yeah. That's yeah. really good because we, we haven't really played together much anyway. We've we've done a few gigs, but what we've done it, it kind of corporate gigs and stuff like that where we were, <laughs> not, like know, this, not like this. We have something like this yeah. at all. So first time actually doing yeah. that like that. And um, wow. you, you were doing a lot of uh, early on you were doing a lot of percussive. Yeah. Uh, you know, based stuff. Um, and just what was the what was the no pun intended, what was the driving force behind that? Was well, that I don't know. I suppose it, it 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 was really about what what Hugh was playing. So Hugh was playing really melodic, nice melodic things. And I just wanted to, I don't know, I just wanted to give it a platform. Mm -hmm. Now it was a very unorthodox platform, like, you know, yeah. as opposed to what I would normally do. But I just thought maybe, maybe something a bit percussive underneath what you were doing, because you were, you were being, um, you were being like melodic, but you're kind of, you weren't, you were kind of being a little, playing a bit more rubato. Yeah. So I thought maybe I'd bring something in and then maybe test out whether you wanted to, Go with it or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you d you kind of fluctuated in between, which was great, which is great, like kind of doing that and <laughs> yeah. not doing that, which is kind of. But like the whole point is, I was just like, I'll, I'll yeah. give, you know, something a little bit different in here and just see what you want to do with it. You know, that's yeah. that's my way of thinking. Sorry about that. that aspect. Whether it worked or not, now is a different story. But. Yeah, that's. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. I don't know if it works because I remember I remember doing stuff before and then I heard playbacks of it, which I thought was off and I felt really uncomfortable. I suppose in a way it's meant to feel uncomfortable as well because you don't really know, like you know, in that moment, you know, yeah. most of the time. But then I remember hearing things back before and I said, "Gee, that sounds great." Actually, when I thought it was really wasn't. Yeah, you never know. Like, what, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I felt uncomfortable in parts of it. You know, when I say uncomfortable, like you know, you know, I felt. Um, I don't have a lot to say here, like, you know, I'm not being very articulate, like, you know, kind of way, that way, you know. It's well, like in a conversation with somebody who's talking about, and you, you get a subject and they yeah. really know what they're talking about. They know the subject so well that it's hardly a point in you saying anything, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, kind of way. But that's, but that's the conversation, you know. Yeah, it was, yeah. But that's, uh, it, was a really, it was a really good conversation, though. Was it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I don't know how you guys thought of it, and that. but uh, yeah, I mean... It's great, actually, and now that <laughs> as soon as I saw you, oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> but but I didn't think a bass player, but I would have come to you because there's only a few bass players who can do that. Right. That I know of, you know, yeah, that okay. I know of, you know, who can. So just talk to me briefly about the curtain drop. So prior to the curtain going down, had you your mind made up who it probably was? Or did that matter? Um. I didn't. I didn't tell you. Yes, as I say, who it was, and 
it didn't really matter, I suppose, really, yeah, yeah. I, th I, it's, it's funny, it all, it's, to me. Yeah, yeah you, you kind of think more about it before it starts. And then when you're into it, like you're what, 10, I, I don't know how long that was, but like you're 10 yeah. minutes into it and then it doesn't matter anymore. You know, because we've, we've, you've obviously, even yeah. in whatever the 10 minutes, you've built up something. Yeah. And at that stage, it, does, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It's in like, well, whoever, whoever it is, you have just spent the last, you know, while with them. Was it an hour and a half, was it? <laughs> <laughs> That's tomorrow. <laughs> and then the, sort of the curtain went down. And, and so was there any change like in... Because I noticed eye contact straight away. Like, was there any? Yeah. Oh, was there? Yeah. I, I, mean, wasn't I, wasn't sure. actually, I think there was for me. I, I when I looked over at you, you were you were yeah. more. I, I, I think I there was a bit know. of delay at, in me. Actually, I think there was. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think, yeah. You'll know when you see. It. But um, yeah, it was kind of yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. I mean, I know the person. You know, so it was kind of yeah. There was something in that. There is something in that if you know the person. Yeah. Even if you haven't done this type of thing before, you know, we've had conversations about music and about football and things like that before. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you know, we have yeah. things in common that we can talk about. And so, I think yeah, I, it felt good. Yeah, I think I, I, think I, I did slightly change a little bit. I was deep into it, but then when the curtain dropped, and I think, you know, we were at a point where we'd gone somewhere different and then you went back to a more melodic thing. And I think it did affect me a little bit. I did kind of go back to the melodic thing a little bit yeah, more with yeah. you as well. Because I felt, and you were bringing the team back as well. So I think you were bringing the team back Worked out very well. Actually, you bring the team back, kind of when the yeah, when, curtain when dropped, been, yeah, yeah. And then like, right. I was just, I just felt it felt right to kind of go back to it, as in like you know, yeah. slightly bookend the whole yeah. thing. It made sense to me then at that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a good moment, nice moment. Well, that's it, folks. Can you give a round of applause? Thank you, thank you. Thank nice you. one. <laughs> that's great. Enjoyed that. Nice.